Hi everyone. Today we are starting MS PowerPoint. And first we are talking about this file tab. In this we have different options for saving the file, for saving the file with different name, to open any previously saved file, to close any currently opened file, to open the file using this recent option, to bring new file to take out the printout of these, everything is given here. So we'll talk about them one by one. Okay, so first of all, this is our MS PowerPoint window. Here, this page is called slide. Okay, and these are our tabs, file, home, insert, design, transition, animation, slide, show, review, and view. And format appears whenever you type any text. And if you have clicked on that, then this format will be highlighted. If you click outside, it will be gone okay now you can see here by default whenever you open your powerpoint you will get this name presentation one okay this is the name of the default powerpoint presentation if you want to save it with your any name or with your name of your choice so you have to click on this you have to click on this save option so you will get this type of dialog box from this area or you can say it is called left pane from this pane you can decide where you want to save your file suppose i want to save my file on desktop so i can select it from here okay then in this file name you can give any name of your choice i'm giving name hello okay and from here you can select the type by default, we save it in PowerPoint presentation, but if you want to make a PDF file of it, you can go with this option. If you want to make it PowerPoint show, you can do it with this one. If you want to save each slide as a single image, you can use this JPG format, PNG like this. Okay. If you want to make video of your this file, you can go with Windows Media Video. Okay. So right now we are going with PowerPoint presentation and as I click on save, you can see your name is changed to hello. Previously it was presentation one. Now it is the name of the file hello. This is the way by which you can save your file. If you want to check it, minimize it from here and you can see the hello. Suppose I'm making any change here, I'm typing If I want to make new file of this same PowerPoint presentation, so I can use this option save. Only difference between these two is save is used to save the file for the first time with any name. Now if you click on save, changes will be saved but the file will remain same. Okay, but if you want to rename it with any other name, you can use save as option. Again, you will get this type of dialog box. Here you can give any name. Suppose I'm giving name hello5. Okay. And I'm saving it on desktop again. Save. Now, again, I'm minimizing it. Now you can see this one is hello5 and this one is hello5. So, files are same but with different name. And you can change its location also. If you want to save this file in any of the drive like c drive e drive so you can select it from here like this okay next one is open open means now suppose i'm closing all the files my powerpoint is closed now now you can directly open the file where it is saved like this our file is saved on desktop just double click on it and the file will open for you like this okay and second option is suppose now this is hello file if you say i want to open hello 5 file so you have to click on this you have to click on this open now you have to move to desktop from here you can select and the file and click on open so now you can see hello 5 is opened here you can check 
both the files are open this one is hello file and this one is hello5 okay next one is close now if you want to close the file that is hello just click on this now you can see only hello5 is opened hello is closed from here you can check okay next one is info then this will give you the information about your slide what is the size of your file how much slides are there how much hidden slides are there everything you will get here okay next one is recent recent will help you just like open this will keep the track of recently used files that are opened days or two days earlier like this so this recent you can open any file from here also okay now if you say i want to open new blank file fresh you have to click on this new here you'll get different options here we have different templates templates means pre-designed powerpoint presentations also you you'll get here so right now i want blank so i have to click on this and create so you'll get the new file and you can say the name presentation one and here you can see hello five is opened and presentation one is opened okay right now i'm closing presentation one now next one is print suppose you want to take out the printout whatever you have typed in your slide you can just take out the printout from here you have to just click on this from here you can decide the copy suppose i want to take out the five printouts of this document or you can say this slide then from this list you have to select the printer right now i don't have any printer installed in this that's why i'm not getting any name but if you install any of the printer in your pc you'll get the name of that printer here you can just click on that and your printer will be selected okay next option is Suppose we have more than one slide. If you want to take out the printout of all slides, you can click on this and we click on print. But if you say I want to take out the printout of only first slide, so you have to click on this print current slide. Right now, first slide is opened, so your first slide will be printed. Now, if you say suppose we have 10 slides, and if you want to take out a printout of starting five, so you can use this option custom range. Click on this and type one two five like this and click on print you'll get the one to five slide numbers five five copies each okay next one is collated collated means suppose you want suppose you have 10 slides in your powerpoint presentation okay and if you want to take out the five five copies of each slide or each uh, slide okay then we here we have two options collated and uncollated and first we select Collated. Collated means suppose we have to distribute these PowerPoint presentations in five students. If you select this option, you will get one to ten all slides, one copy, or you can say one set. Then again, one to ten set of ten slides again. Then again like this. But if you select this uncollated, what will happen? You will get ten copies of first slide then 10 copies of second slide then 10 copies of third slide like this we will select only this one collated so it will not increase our burden we don't need to rearrange the copies again you just take the 10 print out stable it and you can give it to the any of the student okay next one is color by default your presentations are in colored format if you want to take out the black and white or gray scale you can select it from here okay next one is save and send suppose you want to send this powerpoint presentation to using your email to save as to web to sharepoint we have different options you can change the file type from here also these are the you can say extra features available to us if you want to take out the cd of it you can select this one if you want to take out the handouts you can do it with this one Next one is help. If you want to take out any of the help on any of the topic, you can select this option. In this options, you will get different settings. Related to general, proofing, save, everything you can change from here. Okay. 
and last one is your exit if you want to close your powerpoint presentation and if you want to go out of this you can select this one okay close will simply close any of your presentation and exit will close your presentation as well as you will be out of that software your powerpoint will be closed automatically okay so this is your complete file tab if you like the video please share subscribe thank you